just below that. I can see battery cells inside of this. You guys are watching Ryan's Mobile One. Ryan's Mobile One. Flashfish, who makes portable power units, reached out to me and said, hey, we've got this cool thing, we're proud of it. It's the A601. Do you want to take it apart and do a video? And I was like, sure, sounds great, let's do it. Apparently they're doing something they're proud of or else they wouldn't ask me to do this. So this is one of those things you do at your own risk. This should be fun. Wish me luck. Let's see what's in this thing. So we're showing 75 watts. I know that's going to be like some kind of disco crazy blur, but I have to take my word for it. 75 watts. I think this is a 100 watt panel. That's a pretty good system. Things work pretty well together. One hand. Not bad, huh? It's a perfectly good unit. We're going to take it all apart and see what's inside of it. So far, I've been really impressed with it. I love the handle. You can charge your AirPods, uh, your phone, your contactless charger here. This is a M5 or 5mm. Four ones that are Torx, that are a T10. Well, these are longer than expected. Look at that. This is fun. I can't wait. This is fantastic. Let's give you a look inside. I'm seeing a big plug for like a lithium battery uh, going to here. So I think this panel, obviously the LED, just pull that off. It's got some glue or some kind of cement on it. It's a silicone is what it is. And then you've got some big anchor screws down in there. Look at the size of this capacitor. That thing's a beast. This thing has 1,200 watts um, surge. So you got a screw there and there. We got another couple in here. So this capacitor here, we got to treat that with some respect. That can zap you. A lot of this stuff is low voltage until it goes through a uh, an inverter. Almost everything I see absolutely love. See how that does a hard turn and it's pressed up against the board there. They were working on having really good strong connections but ran out of space on that one. Long Phillips. That's old school. You don't see that on a lot of tools anymore. That's actually from the 1980s. When my dad was a mechanic. Good screwdriver. Ooh, ouch! Just kidding. These things are like uh, wood screws. So what I really want to see happen here is my voice is a little off. Of course, you've noticed that by now. There's a bunch of Miley Cyrus videos going around where she says the journey is what you remember anyways. And then they pair it with something really gruff afterward. And while that's probably not very nice to Miley, I don't know why I find that hilarious. I want to see somebody make one with this voice. The journey is the part you remember anyways. I like this material. I don't know exactly what it is, but all right, we should be able to tip this back now. So that's for our 12 volt power, most likely. There we go. This way we don't have to pull on it or tug on it. Ooh, there is an angel hair wire just below that. I can see battery cells inside of this. This is crazy. It's like Tesla style. Did you guys see all of the red wires down the right hand side of this? Look at that. This is getting exciting. This sucker's a little monster, man. Ooh, now that's more like it. I want to film this whole thing in case I do get some sparks or a fire. Let's try rotating it. I bet they rotate it like this. What am I caught on? <laughs> that was a little bit more technical than some. But this thing, it's built a whole lot better than, say, the Duracell one. So when you look at a Tesla battery, you have a whole bunch of these little smaller cells. This is, way, this is way cooler than I expected it to be. I did not expect to see this. So each of these cells is 3.7 volts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 times 5, that's 60. And then uh, 60 times, well, it depends on how it's wired and welded. 
But look at that look at that grid across the top of that that is awesome so we've got all of the positive on one end and we've got all the negative on the other end we've got three heat sinks on the top we've got a i should know what this is but for the life of me i can't remember that's the way to do a battery that gives you the most bang for the buck and with the electronics and management and cooling it looks like they've done a good job with this thing you got your basic led stuff on the back you've got your cooling fan circuitry here um, this is your charging port in the back that's where you plug it in you've got all of your power management board we wanted to see if there was a ground there's not a ground let me get you upside down and in there there you go so it's not grounded it's not plugged into anything it's just to allow you to be able to plug it in all right let's turn it on see what it does nothing <laughs> so whereas most of the connectors are all on this side there's one on the back side to the led but watch this it's just routing it's wired into the board here but it just goes to the other side to feed the led i guess that's efficient it doesn't seem very secure however there's not much to chafe on in there and the coating on it's pretty thick so just a quick tour this is a circuit board green board these are inductive coils they help get rid of high frequency disturbance and things um, you got a bunch of capacitors they basically just store they're like a spring-loaded energy storing device but with electrons you get all these connectors and then these two power all of your 120 and they come onto the board right here and this circuit board you've got a great big uh, multi-layer capacitor here and then you have some uh, electrolytic capacitors all over down here and a great big one here this is a transformer this helps ramp uh, voltage up or down and you've got some uh, this is a different style of capacitor but same kind of thing and just a whole bunch of, uh, I forget what these are called. I don't remember. I'm sick. <laughs> Hopefully you can cut me some slack on that. But this is just battery power into the board. This basically just feeds through from the battery down to the 12 volt outlet. All of these down here feed into another board where you see you've got a bunch of microprocessors on the bottom level. And then these other ones are just for charging feedback. You can see that one actually got chewed up at some point somewhere. You see right there. So these batteries are all in. It looks like series because this is negative. You can see the symbol says negative there. And then it says positive up under there. So if they're flipping them one way or another, then that would be series. But if they were all positive across the top, then that would be parallel. Series increases the voltage, you add the voltage up. And uh, parallel increases your, basically is things to do with flow, amperage. Yeah, these two are positive right next to each other. This one all is the opposite way. Down, up, down, up. So I'm saying it's probably series. There's ways to verify that based on your output voltages and stuff. But this is a teardown video. We're just trying to see if they're flipped, and clearly they are. But you've got all the negative coming out one end and all the positive coming out the other end. One other little thing that I noticed, a nice touch, is it has an adhesive rubber foam on the bottom of it. There's a lot of things that Flashfish has done right on this. Uh, low center gravity, really high grade battery configuration um, with welded plates across the top, individual cells, beautiful, uh, lots of heat sinks that bring the heat up to the top where these fans can get rid of it. You have fans on both sides so you can really pull all the heat away. Uh, I can't stop about this handle. I really like the handle from the rubber grip at the bottom to folding down flush. I love that. 
you can see this is where the battery lives in this area here and there's a margin of protection crumple zone if you will uh, all the way around this thing uh, one of the things i like the light on the side it's also good for creating a little barrier the fans have this section that sticks out that helps you've got this 12 volt thing I don't know what to think of this. If this gets knocked into the batteries, that could be a problem. I see some sharp edges on this. All of my criticism that I have has to do with this connection between the board and that 12 volt. Rather than having uh, any kind of stick out there, I would prefer to have, let's show you what I mean. See the prongs that are aimed at your battery? So we remember that these wires on the teardown we're rubbing on this right here and that's just plastic that's no big deal so the prongs they I think they interface with this plastic you would really have to hit that hard um, you've got all of these prongs down here are all of these connectors uh, that could potentially puncture but they're not crazy strong I think that more likely than not these would collapse or bend over all of these be having the boots on it, I think could help facilitate a bend as opposed to a puncture. They did a good job. It's pretty tough to shake a stick at this one. Do you guys see anything that you would change or do differently with this particular unit? If you think of something, let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see a video on next. Do you want to see some more teardowns? Um, I do a lot of automotive stuff on this channel, but as the name implies, it's Brian's Mobile One. I really like getting out and doing stuff, and uh, if you want to bring all your tech and toys and whatnot, or be able to charge your phone, this is a good way to get mobile, good way to get stuff charged up, and uh, get out and see the world, get away from the computer for a bit, right? Mm -hmm.